Well, good morning. You are listening to 98.7 KWPBLP, Newport, Oregon, Winds of Praise Broadcasting. My name is Ernie, if you don't recognize my voice, and we've got a real treat for you this morning. Okay, the only problem now is we no longer have adult, we do now have adult supervision. (laughs) Okay, so good morning, Colleen. Well, good morning, everybody. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, and good morning, Rob. Good morning, sir. And in the co-pilot seat behind me is Scott. No, I'm in your chair. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Hello. Yeah, yeah if you got any grease uh, when you get up, it's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't me. So, Father, we just thank you this morning that you brought our dear sister back yes. from her adventures. We can't wait to hear about them. And, Lord, we just dedicate this time to you, as always. Uh, we, we don't script these things. We just uh, shoot from the hip, or we just are led by the Spirit. I like that much better. Yes. So, Father, we dedicate this time to you, and we're excited to see how this half hour is going to go. Mm-hmm. So we give you all praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' most precious name. A- 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 amen. Amen. Well, as usual, I always have a story that, no. uh, yeah, I, I laugh because the very first time that Scott asked me to come back to the radio station the day before, um, I had been saying something about the headlight story about the little horse that was given back and needing to find a home. And, and the gal, you know, sitting next to me, she goes, oh, for heaven's sakes, Colleen, don't tell that story again. You know, I don't want to hear that. And so on the way into the studio, um, I said, well, Lord, this is my very first time, you know, back to the studio. And I'm so excited that I get to be there. And Scott invited me. And, and I said, so what would, you like to, what would you like to do today? And he said, um, I'd like you to tell the headlight story. And I went, no. I went, I go, what? I said, didn't you hear what she said yesterday? She said she didn't want to hear that story. And so anyway, I went, well, okay. You know, when the program's over and I get back home again, I get a phone call from Orange County, California. And my non-techie friend, Molly, had actually figured out how to, like, live stream the program. But her daughter, who the headlight story was about, happened to be there from Fresno, California, visiting. And so the both of them heard the story <laughs> live wow. there at their home. Wow. And on the, you know, when I was talking to the Lord afterwards, I thought, wow, Lord, if I'd listened to that lady, you know, I yeah. would never have told the story. But I knew in my heart that you do what he tells you to do when he tells you to do it. Yes. Mm-hmm. There's just nothing better. And, you know, usually your first reaction almost always is, oh, I don't want to do that. That's when you know it's God. Yeah, you know it's God. (laughs) I mean, I guarantee you 99.9% of the times it is God. If your camera breaks, it's not my fault. Again. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are too, too scattered. I can't That's right. They're just too good looking to fit in one film. <laughs> yeah. We are we, back we, in the studio. We'd though. blow the That's camera right. up. Oh, yeah. We're sitting back How in our own Not only has she been away for two months, uh, plus, it's been, gosh, a long time. More than six months, probably. Yeah, yeah. is it really? Yeah. But yeah th- thank you, Stu. See for what God is doing. Yeah. Oh, the table came in, too. I get to go pick it up. I'm going to try to pick it up this weekend. Oh, finally. Awesome awesome well father right now we just think about each person who has um so beautifully been used i think about how when you built the temple that you had all of these different craftsmen you know that did all of these different things and they did their absolute very best even the guy that carved something at the very top of like some kind of a pillar i mean because he knew that your eyes would see it and he was doing it to please you. And I know that each and every person who has been used here at the Winds of Praise, that from their heart, they want to please you, Jesus. They want to know that you are well pleased with what's going on. And so, Father, we thank you for each person, each person and their gifts and talents and abilities. And as we think about uh, Lincoln County, we think about our little pea patch. And the enemy uh, had kind of... um, threatened us so much that we thought "Ooh, I mean he's just like taking over and it's like you kind of dusted us all off and said hey get your armor on and push back push Mm -hmm. back the kingdom of darkness so 
So we thank you and praise you that you're helping us to stand firm and steady in our little pea patch. And thank you that you are taking back Lincoln County for yourself. Yeah. So we just give you praise and glory Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 This is going to be a funny thing. So I just looked down here, and, and our names are down here below our... our uh, volume button turn your volume up by the way and i thought that's cool and then i flashed to the time when we were racing we did dirt track racing for years i remember the first time i saw my name on the race car mm -hmm. it's like wow i got my name on a race car and i got my name on a soundboard i saw your name yesterday in toledo did you yeah you and your wife it was a, a love thing oh yeah a, a, yeah yeah friend did that it was so unexpected yeah friend goes hey did you get you see that thing that they're doing up there yeah. in toledo i said no he goes, you should go check it out. It's yeah. really cool. It's a Valentine's thing. And so we're reading it. And then I saw it. And then I called him back. And his wife actually did Ernie that. Ernie and Cindy. It, you're yeah. like right on the end. I go, that must be Ernie and Cindy. Yeah. I know them. Yeah. That's yeah. Awesome. And, and this person did that. That's just, I really don't want to say her name. But it was, well, it was very But nice. she goes, and this is what she said. And I said, well, why did you? And then we called her. And it was my buddy's wife. And she's like, you know, as I was sitting there thinking about doing that, because, you know, they did their names. And she goes, you're the only other two people that I that I could think of that that actually love each other. <laughs> What's well, a nice thing, right? Yeah. Well, but isn't that Sadly. how does she do isn't it, Ernie? That, how does she do it? Who, who, how does she, Cindy? How does she love you? I have no idea. <laughs> Ernie's easy. But to I, love. let me tell you, it's very humbling though to have yeah. somebody love me with their whole heart. Yeah. Yes. It's very very humbling. So if you're listening, sweetie, I love you. Amen. And God loves us that way. And you're stuck mm -hmm. with me forever, so ha. And, and then, <laughs> and then <laughs> there's that was part. <laughs> yeah, What's that, Colleen? I'm sorry. Then there's that that beautiful Kelly and that beautiful Cheryl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Absolutely. And I can truly attest to the fact that I see the love <laughs> that you guys have for your wives, Amen. and it's yeah. absolutely beautiful. Yeah. But we don't have their names up in. In lights not in, in Toledo, Toledo not right? in oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. know about this otherwise I would have had money yeah 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 oh, well you should oh, you still do, I think it's like 10 bucks or something you yeah but the last time I looked online they said that they were they were all full there wasn't room for anymore yeah. wow we were with our dogs so we were it. killing time because the RV was getting some work and uh, so I'll, I'll come see you next Monday <laughs> Ernie well I won't be there on Monday I'm well there Tuesday Wednesday Thursday he's so. just gonna look at it I might be there Monday actually so. Oh. And by the way, Stu says all of us sound really well, good. Yeah, yeah, he sent me that too. Yeah, thank you, Stu. <laughs> and that wonderful, we, we, but I can't help but think of Dan and how awesome he was, and what a wonderful uh, run that you guys had. Yeah, and it's six, not over. Yeah, we still got to try. Our relationships are going to be different in eternity, but you know, I'm, I'm sure your mansions will be right next door to each other. Yay! Hey, 61 years is not bad. That's awesome. You, you were know, married 61 years. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Oh, isn't, that, man. isn't that wonderful? Yeah, then I try to convince people that it was actually years. a prearranged um, marriage. Uh -huh. You know, then they laugh. But, you know, I, I try my best. <laughs> right, right. I just still can't help but think I was sitting in the chair right there, and then yeah. Dan had walked in with that fire extinguisher. I heard our <laughs> motorhome catch it on fire. Yeah. Here, take this. Yeah. He tosses yeah. it to you. I still got it. It's still in the box. It's in a strategic. <laughs> I just can't take it out of the box, but it's it's, it's ready, ready to go. Thanks, Dad. Yep. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that was so awesome. He had that. He just what's that? What's it? Is it a Chester a cat? Some kind of cat? Green Chester that, cat. Yeah, he had that green. grin on his face. He was looking down. <laughs> never, oh yeah, I will never forget that. That was so wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that boy had like a good sense of humor. Yeah. Let me tell you. But he was tough too, man. I tell oh, you, he was yeah. like a drill sergeant. <laughs> yeah. I know that part of it. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys don't sound good. <laughs> I couldn't hear you. Turn up my wife. <laughs> Like, oh no, there's Dan. He's gonna yeah, tell me. So, oh wait, it's a fire extinguisher for Ernie. We're okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's funny. Wow, well, how wonderful. Yeah. Well, you know, isn't it exciting watching the world kind of melt down? Things are getting to be a about? fever pitch. It's exciting. You know, I have a friend that call, he keeps calling us, and he went to what's his name down south? Son of Jack Hibbs. Jack Hibbs. Jack, he went to Jack Hibbs Church, yeah. and they were doing a thing. And he's, he's actually was dating Cindy when I met Cindy. They they were kind of on the outs. They were just friends. They weren't yeah. actually dating dating anymore. But, um, they, you know, they were st still friends. And we, we've been friends with him ever since. But he, he's a s serious alcoholic, yeah. right? And so 
Um, he keeps calling, you know. But he went to Jack Hibbs Church a few weeks ago. Wow. He made the altar call. Wow. And we can tell in his voice that something's different. Oh, but yeah. man, is the is so Father, I just lift Pat up to you right yes, now, yes, Lord. Yes. Amen. He he say he called up. He was he literally was crying all day yesterday, and he doesn't know why. Yeah. And he was he he you know he he hit the bottle again yesterday, but because he, he's so confused. But Lord, we thank you. I see you working in his life, Lord. I see that you're purging him of his old self, Lord, because you want to fill him with you. You want to you want to set his feet up um, high. You want to lift his head up high, Lord, so he can walk with you and fulfill the purpose and plan you have called for yes, Pat's Lord. life. Yes, so now, right now, Father, we command and we ask in the name of Jesus that all the forces of evil that are surrounding Pat that are just tormenting him right now, because he has made that decision for you. He did. Uh, accept you as Lord and Savior. His name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And so we command the forces of evil That's to right. step back. Right. And we thank you that your hedge of protection will be about him. And I was telling him last night about the peace of God. He hasn't quite experienced that yet. But Father, I pray even right now that that would begin, that he would experience the peace that only comes from you no matter what is going on in his life, Lord. And so I thank you that the enemy has lost another one that he thought he had in the bag. And Lord, we know the sanctification process is different and maybe it's more difficult for certain people, but we thank you for Pat. We thank you for your hand of protection on him. And I'm gonna call him later because he asked me to call him. And Lord, we thank you that your hand is now on his life and turn him into that man of God that you desire him to be. Mm -hmm. And bring other men around there. We, we told him to try to get plugged into a men's group. And so, Father, we thank you that you will orchestrate all these things because you love amen, Pat amen. so much and you gave your life for him also. So we give you all praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. And let me share this um, because people who come to the Lord, even those who are in the Lord for many, many years, experience trouble. Psalm uh, 107, which is book five of the Psalms, I underlined this this morning in verse number, yeah, there you go. Thank you for the light. Six, verse six of Psalm 107. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Verse 13. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. Verse 19. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. Let them sacrifice thank offerings and tell of his works with songs of joy. And then verse 28. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he brought them out of their distress. Do you think God hears you when you cry out for him? When you cry in, in your trouble? What was that? Uh, Psalm 107. Psalm 107. And you know, as... Oh, I got them underlined. <laughs> I'll, tell you, I'll tell you off. Yeah. Oh, no, it's turned out like somebody's yeah. listening. They need right. to hear this. All right. Uh, verse 6, verse 13, verse 19, and verse 28. All right. Besides the song, besides the reference to songs. And as and you, as have you a guys. song that sings oh, that. Course. Come on. <laughs> you think? Well, songs are mostly songs anyway. I've right. got several of them already, but I've been quiet. <laughs> How fun. And, and you know, it's like as you were praying for Pat, um, I what came just so strongly was that the Lord wants him to be drunk on the Spirit of yeah. Christ. Yeah, yeah and I'm gonna well, call it Can, can I tell you one more thing? I went to another funeral. I guess. It, wasn't, it wasn't Dan's funeral, but we were at a wonderful funeral the other day for Eric Klein, mm -hmm. a four-square man uh, who came up from California, and mm -hmm. uh, he passed away. He was, I think, in his 80s. So there were three prearranged speakers, and they were all very good. And then a fourth man said at the end, Pastor, can I come up and share? And I have just conducted a funeral where I was told we're not going to have any open sharing. So I'm going, okay, what? And so the pastor at the time, Seth, he says, okay, brother, come up. And this man was broken. He says, I didn't even know the guy. But he says, I've seen you guys coming to church. I live nearby, and I need what you got. And oh. he was just broken. And I've never seen that at a funeral. He says, he didn't care. He didn't care where he was. It reminded me of the guys who lowered their friend, the paralytic, mm -hmm. down through the roof. They didn't care what kind of mess they made. Right. They, just, yeah, they, wanted to, the guy's they just wanted to be in front of Jesus. And that's what this guy was doing. And I've never seen that before in all my life. Mm -hmm. We ain't seen nothing, bro. We ain't seen well, nothing and, yet. And guess what? The Isn't Lord, that amazing? The Lord rearranged my travel um, plans because I was in Southern California 
planning, you know, I was supposed to be there another week. And late, late on a Saturday night, he told me I needed, he said, I want you to change your ticket. And I went, okay, you know, like, you know, but he didn't say where or when yet. And I thought, well, you just kind of, you know, just listen, he'll tell me. So the next day was Sunday and we went to church. And I mean, the guy's sermon spelled out step by step by step what the Lord was talking to me about clear really clear (laughs) and so then i'm thinking oh then that must mean that i'm getting a ticket back to oregon Mm -hmm. but i could hear don of don and debbie that took me to and from eugene and don had said to me nah he said you won't be coming back to newport till february and i thought oh no way (laughs) no way you know so anyway i i get the ticket i i'm told to get a ticket to phoenix arizona so I, I call my, my prayer partner, who I've had for like 40 years. And so, yep, yep, come, you know, the whole thing. Well, she has um, a renter that when I was there probably about a year ago, um, you know, he would come and sit in the living room and talk with us and everything. And I just assumed that that was just normal, you know. And she said, no, you know, he, he rents a room, but, you know, he just really honors, you know, my privacy. So, you know, he never comes and sits in the living room, but he did. And then we would talk about the Lord and just have just a great time. Anyway, he just, well, I didn't get to see his baptism, but he's like 83 years old. Oh. And he just, he just invited, you know, accepted the invitation from Jesus. Ah. And he was baptized at the Nazarene Church. And Carolyn said when he was baptized, he said, I've gone to, you know, attended lots of different churches but he said when i met carolyn and colleen it's i wanted the jesus that they had Mm. and i thought you couldn't you couldn't be more honored if you tried right yeah well you know you 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 just a word that you just said caught my attention and it was invited Mm -hmm. don't you feel special when people invite you somewhere it's like you know a friend to call you hey you know we were thinking about you and we're having a barbecue this weekend we'd like to invite you over and you're like yeah, that's cool, you know. Mm-hmm. But think about that. The God of the universe, the creator of heaven, Jesus, it says in the beginning in First John, he was there in the beginning. All things came to being through him. And he invites you to come and spend eternity with him. He did all the, he did all the heavy lifting. Well, and then the other thing, I mean, of course, I've told lots of stories that have to do, especially like when my computer was broken and all I could focus on was like how terrified I was that that computer had burned up every last bit of data inside of it and Pastor Bill needed my annual report, you know, type bound, turned into the board of directors and... I, I I couldn't figure out how to do that. And I remember Jesus saying to me, Hey Colleen, could couldn't you just like hang out with me? And I thought, Oh shoot, <laughs> that must be like Mary, you know, and it's like so that whole story, how he used that to um to like really kind of like train me to like not be so frightened you know to just do what he says when he says Mm -hmm. and i i give all of the glory and credit because later when we did the sound of worship you know it was like it helped me not be afraid to like just take a step and then have like a little cup of tea and a cookie yeah (laughs) well and i think that that applies to the circumstances of life right now and the world situation god wants us to just not worry about it but just be obedient to what he calls us to do because you know a lot of people even jack hibbs said something so interesting the other day even jack Hibbs. no but this blew my mind he's in southern california he is and he flat out said you know there's 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 not good people coming across the border right and he goes every man every family member should be in a position to take care of their family. Right. And then towards the end of that, he said, you know, you guys should have a little bit of food and a little bit of supplies in a way to protect yourself. Right. He goes, because what if all of a sudden a carload of people comes up in front of your house with, and they got seven of them, and they all got AK-47s. What are you going to do? Mm-hmm. You have every right to 
protect your family. Right. That's all he said, you right. know, because, you know, got California. But that just, it's coming, folks. But we don't have to fear because God is going to arrange a situation where we're going to be that light. We're going to be able to help people. Let's That's see. what I see. He, he rescued them. Uh <laughs> He saved them. He delivered them out of their trouble. Yeah. Yeah, that's our God. It is our God. Well, and the thing is, is that, I mean, we go back and we look at, like, Jehoshaphat. I mean, I I love, you know, I love the way that, I mean, the Assyrians were like ISIS, you know, whatever, on steroids. I mean, they were... I mean, they, on purpose, you know, use these Asher poles to turn people into um, shish kebabs, shish kebabs, and yep. then they would line line the entire road with, you know, people on Asher poles, you know, to like scare the daylights out of you. And yet, what did, what did Jehoshaphat do? He called all the people together, you know, to read the word. And then, you know, he sent the choir out first you know so thank you lord for the winds of praise and i often think of don heist and how you know he always says how much he wants that praise and worship to be able to go out over the airways and so i look at scott and i thank you thank you lord that scott and kelly stepped out when it probably looked like what the world are we doing and now they've been here 25 plus years well this is the righteous th- and because of god we right. we're clothed with his righteousness but yes. the righteous live by faith and mm-hmm. what i'm learning it's by his faith it's it's not like our faith makes the difference because he lives inside of us he has perfect faith mm-hmm. therefore we can live by his perfect faith and that's what he wants from us right. well and faith where does faith come from it's a gift from the lord but he says faith faith comes from hearing and hearing comes from the word of god and so it's like i think about like the old wine skins Mm -hmm. you know i mean they're made out of like leather but you know it's like you know if they're not filled with you know like the fresh wine they they become you know hard and crunchy you know we all know what leather shoes that have gotten you know, really old, and and they're not real soft and pliable. But the way that they would take care of that, they would actually soak those old wineskins in water, and then they would become soft and pliable again. I think we have a program called Soaking in God's Presence. Yes. (laughs) Is it a song, Scott? No, it's a program. It's actually a program. Yeah, Mm -hmm. we've done it for years. Amy Hurd, Mm -hmm. who lives in Albany. As a matter of fact, I was in that category, that folder today, uh, because it's a wonderful hour program, and we've been running it at four in the morning. But Stu thought, let's do it at five. So I come in sometimes early on Tuesdays, and I hear, boy, there's a bunch of old songs going on. But it's it's because we've moved the tent, and now I can listen to it at mm-hmm. five o'clock. But it's wonderful worship, hmm. soaking in God's presence is what the original program was called. Then she changed it to the tent. Mm-hmm. And the secret place, that was another title. Mm-hmm. But we still air it. And I talked to her once, and she goes, are you still airing that? I go, yeah, we're still airing it. So she's maybe we'll see her someday. Nice. There you go. And so, Father, even as we think about um, the situation that we find ourselves in right now, because if we look around and we look at the world and we look mm-hmm. at the situations that are happening, you know, it's like nothing looks um, very steady or sure or any of those things. And I've heard lots of Christians kind of say, hey, Jesus, come, you know, come take us to heaven right away, you know. Yeah. Um, and yet that's not necessarily like what you're saying and so we thank you and praise you that you intend for us to be um, all armored up you have provided your beautiful helmet of salvation that protects our mind what we think what we hear what we see what we say bringing every thought into alignment to you just like Scott and and Rob and Ernie you know talking Mm -hmm. about the scriptures that those are all meant to strengthen us to help us um, to be um, our defensive weapon and so father we just want to thank you for that we thank you for the beautiful robe of righteousness oh my goodness ours would be so yucky and Mm -hmm. horrible we just couldn't imagine but yours is holy and pure and white and lovely and we thank you for the way that it protects our heart and our will 
and our emotions. And I thank you for filling us afresh and anew every single day. And thank you, Jesus, that you are the belt of all truth, not some, but all. And Satan is a liar. And if his lips are moving, he is lying. And thank you, Jesus, that you give us wisdom to know right from wrong, truth from error. You help us to be wise and discerning rather than gullible and naive. And beautiful are the feet, those feet that bring good news, whether it's over the radio or whether it's somewhere else in our county, our country or our world and I thank you and praise you for that shield of faith and I I remain remember that uh, James Nesbitt um, has um, a photo a picture and it's like all of these soldiers that have put their their um, shield of faith together and so as we bring it together it protects us so beautifully and so we thank you and praise you for the double-edged sword of the word and we thank you and praise you that you are the word and we just want to be pleasing to you this very day in Mm -hmm. jesus name amen amen i can't help but think i know the movie is not very wholesome but the 300 (laughs) <laughs> shield wall <laughs> oh man those guys were brutal but man yeah. that's the same picture right mm-hmm. shields yep mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, good stuff so this weekend on Saturday okay. we have wrestling over in Toledo it's for districts uh, if you're listening and would be interested you should show up and check it out uh, Toledo team's doing really well it should be a lot of fun it's going to be a lot of work but it's a big deal having it here Man, it it sounds like you guys got a great team, too. We do. We're kind of struggling. One of our kids got in trouble yesterday, and uh, they kicked him out. So, Oh, no. We got another kid that's on the hook. It's it's stupid. I mean, give me a break. It's stupid. The kid wrote a a note to the teacher. He and this teacher are kind of battling, and and so he wrote this note. The teacher says, I want to take you on in combat. Um, and, uh, And then a bunch of the kids signed it thinking that that would be a good idea. So now the teacher's upset, and they kick the kid out that wrote the note, uh, and they're trying to kick out the rest of the kids that signed the note. Uh, to me, it's like, where's the adult in the room? I'm sorry. If a right. child hands me a note that says I want to bring you, he's not, he's not saying I want to kill you, I want to hurt He's saying I want to combat you. Well, so you're the adult. Be the adult. Say no. <laughs> yeah. Or say yes. Or, or whatever. But to me, it, it's just crazy that this teacher... It, went running to the principal. They made fun of me. They said this thing to me. I want you to kick them all out. It's like, where's the adult? Aren't yeah, you yeah, the adult yeah. in the room? Aren't you the one that's supposed to realize this is a note? It's a, it's a joke? The whole thing was a joke? Right. Anyway, so hey, Rob, I'm frustrated. Would, would, <laughs> you know, I'd like to just agree in prayer with you as yeah. you pray out for the teacher and yeah, for the student. Yeah. yeah. And Heavenly Father, Lord God, I just do raise up this teacher to you, Lord. I just pray that you would just... Have your way, have your will, uh, do what you need to do. Same thing for the students today, Lord, as they're trying to figure out what this is supposed to be and how they're supposed to be able to walk in this world, Lord, and what they're supposed to do and not supposed to do. Uh, May there be clarity in that, Lord. May we understand the truth. May we look at the hearts and not just necessarily the rules. Um, But, Lord, I just pray for your hand over this. I pray for uh, your discernment over this. And I pray for a peace in my heart because it angers me, Lord. It just angers me to no end. And, Lord, I hear an ambulance going by and a fire truck. And, Lord, we just want to raise them up. And thank you for them that they're going. We pray protection over them. We pray for those that are waiting for them to show up, Lord. We just pray that you would be a part of that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Lord, we just raise up all of these things to you, Lord, because you're the only one that can do anything about it. That's right. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Good stuff. Here we got a couple minutes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that'll work. Is that Diamonds in the Rough? That should be their logo. <laughs> yeah, I, I got I to gotta, I gotta tell you, we, yeah. we've talked about the Chosen yeah, quite a bit. So Kelly and I went to the theater. Oh, and, yeah. How was that? Well, you know the story. It's in well. the Bible. What happens What happens to John the Baptist? Do you know what eventually happens to him? Yeah, yeah. he gets a ha- head cut. Okay, so I'm not, Haircut. I'm not doing any spoilers, but it's in that section. Yeah. Uh, the yes. thing I want to bring out is that he's not freaked out. Actually, he's glad. Right. And it's like, Jesus, I'm coming. Right. You know, yeah. he's actually happy. Right. And so there you go. That's, That's all awesome. I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Go watch it. Well, I read the book. <laughs> of Mar- We're almost out of time, but <clears throat> I read the book of Martyrs last year. And it's just, it was amazing how many, I mean, there were instances where there, the Romans were throwing Christians on the fire and they're all worshiping. Right. And the soldiers would actually drop all their gear. They, they, they'd become Christians right, right there and they'd get thrown on the fire. And of course, I would suck a little bit, but. Not really. 
<laughs> but you know, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it it's like we're looking at this end of this stuff, and I'm like, what's worst case scenario? I die. Yeah, yeah. So I, I'm not afraid of dying. So you go that, straight to right. Heaven. So yeah. I'm not worried about this. It's like, well, if they come at me and they want to shoot at me, I'll shoot back because I'm not afraid to die. Mm-hmm. Right. The question is, are you ready to die? Well, they're gonna be hearing about Jesus. Stop dropping roll doesn't hand. work in hell, right? <laughs> All right, folks, we are out of time. So that means we're going to heaven next, right? Let's do it. <laughs> well, you've been listening to 98.7 KWPBLP, Newport, Oregon, Winds of Praise Broadcasting, and, of course, windsofpraise.com. You can live stream us. And we want to say a great, wonderful thank you to everybody that uh, uh, <coughs> faithfully <coughs> listens and prays for us and also you, uh, supports mm-hmm. our f- station financially. So we just love you guys. And so... As always, uh, I will be here Monday. I was here last Monday. I apologize, but a certain program ran a half an hour longer than it was uh, intended, so I'm, I'm not going to let that happen next Monday. I will be here. I will be here Monday at uh, five o'clock to start the start back up the great adventure. So until we meet again, either Monday, Tuesday, or next Friday, Colleen, how do we end? Always go out and give them heaven. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Amen.